Hello and welcome to Econ 8026 Advanced Macroeconomic Analysis. My name is Elena Capitina and I will be your lecturer in semester 2 2021. Welcome to all of you, whether you are here in Canberra at the ANU or across Australia or overseas. We have a very large fraction of students studying remotely this term, so rest assured that this course is designed with that in mind. A little bit of, about myself, I graduated in 2011 with a PhD from the University of Toronto, and I've been here at the ANU since 2018. It's the second time I teach this course, and I'm very excited to uh, teach it again. Um, I actually specialize in macro health, which is a subfield of macroeconomics, looking at the impact of health shocks on individuals' behavior and on outcomes such as income and income inequality. So for me, studying macroeconomics uh, these days is really excited, exciting as it's a really dynamic field. And more generally, in terms of um, uh, other things in macroeconomics, such as monetary and fiscal policy, things have changed dramatically as well. And the way we look at these today are very different than we would have a couple of years ago. So it is my hope that we will look at various theories and models and uh, economic events in this course and make them engaging and relevant for you. We will take this course uh, from the beginning, starting, starting with economic growth in the first half of the course. We will look at uh, sources of growth, uh, income differences across countries, uh, theories of uh, technological change, and uh, uh, we will have one assignment uh, based on this that you will hand in uh, before the midterm. We'll then uh, have a midterm, uh, take a break, and coming back, we will be looking at uh, business cycles, sources of fluctuations, monetary and fiscal policy, um, how individuals make decisions over the life cycle, and uh, the last lecture will be dedicated to macroeconomics in the times of the pandemic. I really hope that by the end of this course, you will be able to look at economic events and link them to the theory we will learn in this course. One thing I will emphasize is that um, various models have strengths and weaknesses, and we will assess them critically and ask when they are appropriate to study various issues. Another thing that's going to be really important is the link between models, theory, and data. So throughout the course, we will emphasize um, how the uh, empirical facts motivate the models we're looking at. In terms of how the course will be run, uh, we will have uh, uh, pre-recorded lectures as well as, as live lectures. Uh, we will have weekly tutorials that will be live on Zoom um, as well as face-to-face. Uh, -face. Um, and um, we will have the usual office hours and opportunities for you to, to engage. We'll set up some forums online and uh, uh, give you opportunities to discuss various topics. And I've prepared the assignments um, so that there will be opportunities to, do, to engage. So um, the first assignment will be um, a traditional assignment where you will get questions to, to hand in uh, that will be due before the midterm. And the second assignment will be uh, a group assignment uh, with a written component as well as a very short oral presentation component. And more information on this will be posted on the model. Uh, we will um, otherwise have the, the two assessments of the midterm and the final exam. I do hope to see all of you as much as possible uh, in uh, the uh, live lectures and live tutorials, live office hours. And um, please uh, email me if you have any questions before at the beginning of the term. And otherwise, I will see you in week one um, in our first tutorial.